Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to uh, show you the next video tutorial of shopping cart project in ASP.NET Core you can see and uh, when we click on the register button I got that type of error actually so just resolved it first of all and uh, create a I, uh, create email service in utility projects so just right click on it and uh, add a new class that class named is email sender and email sender is actually inherited from the i email sender and uh, that uh, class is used to uh, create email services for the project and uh, in the latter videos i will create it uh, email service class uh, with the email kit uh, mail kit with the uh, mime kit so by using this class you can send the emails uh, for the projects to registered users and uh, who want to get uh, items from your websites so email class use local version and install package microsoft asp.net core.identity.ui and that local version 6.0.2 and after that resolve uh, implemented interface i email sender and uh, and i email sender we have a one uh, a method that is send email async with some parameters now after that you can send uh, the and just uh, return the task task dot complete a task after uh, created your class you have to register uh, as a dependency in your startup.cs file or you can say that program.cs file so just open that class uh, program.cs file and register your email uh, sender class as a dependency at here. So just copy that and just paste uh, builder.service.adscopt and you can use iemail sender. Email sender and iemail sender is actually uh, use microsoft asp.net core.identity and email sender is uh, existing in a shopping cart.utility so just resolve the namespaces after that you can run your project because your problem is resolved when you click on the register button and the login button you uh, you will not get uh, any type of error related to the email sender class okay so wait for a few seconds and uh, you will see your output will become easier Okay, that's fine when we click on the register button create a new account and here we go for just stop the debugging and output will become uh, pretty good and the next thing you can do uh, you can add in the register.csystml file and also uh, just um, expand your identity directory and just uh, check register.cshtml file here we go register.cshtml file and uh, just add more uh, properties in the register.cshtml file like address city states and etc so uh, just uh, copied uh, code and paste it here in the cshtml file that is part of the ui you can say so here we go for uh, register form uh, class is row uh, ASP route is written URL and method is post and here we have as two tags that is create a new account uh, input dot name input dot name name input dot email username and input dot address field input dot city 
Okay, so uh, actually, uh, address is uh, related to the text area fields instead of input field. So remove, and you can use ASP uh, text area. Input city is here. Input state is here. Input phone number is here, and password and confirm password. Okay, that's fine. Now, after click on the register.cshtml.cs file, and uh, you know that you already uh, these fields are already added in the input model class. So here we have a input model class, and these fields are already uh, added in the input model that's the uh, name um, address city and uh, state and pin code all these fields are uh, added now after that uh, your uh, code is run and uh, see the outputs of your class that is currently added uh, your new templates for the register so you can see there is name email address address city states etc so the next thing you to uh, you can add the created user uh, identity user instead of identity user you can add the application user class with the register.csstm file so you can check it uh, the created user in the CSHTML file so just scroll down it and uh, let's check that is created user and you know that the created user is actually uh, related to your application user class instead of identity user so just go to the definition part and here we have a application user so So here we have a application user instead of a created user and application user uh, and also you have to add uh, some uh, also you have to add this this user into the role that is the admin user role sorry uh, role of a user uh, so just copied uh, your that file from the db initializer class and paste it here user underscore user manager dot add to role async and the user and the website role is actually in the utility project so just resolve the namespace shopping cart dot utility and the role of admin you can use a role user role instead of role of admin so role of uh, role of user is there and the next part is to do your website that is add these extra fields in your project also uh, add a token provider just like that uh, identity user dot identity role and the add default token provider uh, in your program dot cs file dot add default token provider and the next thing you can do with your pro uh, with your project that is where result equals to await user manager dot create async user dot name equals to input dot name user dot phone number equals to uh, so actually uh, user dot name is actually related to the identity user so just resolve this problem first of all because the created user is actually related to the identity user class so uh, just right click on it and uh, go to the definitions and you can see that the return type of uh, the user is identity user so must replace with the application user class because the created instance is application user okay that's now your problem will be resolved
uh, name phone number at the city and state has been called and after that you can see um, your outputs will easy to learn and understand hello guys for watching uh, the more videos about asp.net core and if you like this video please uh, like uh, press the like button and also hit uh, your subscribe button uh, if you uh, if you love uh, asp.net core and uh, .net technologies so just press the uh, like button because i love uh, asp.net core and uh, and i create a lots of things in asp.net core and later videos i will uh, upload more about asp.net core and latest things about uh, .NET course so just press the hit button uh, like button and uh, your output becomes more pretty thank you guys for watching this video